Good day and welcome to another full of learning video that you will surely love. And for this video, it's something different because I'm granting requests from my previous students from junior high school and they are now an incoming freshman student. So why not, diba? It's very timely. That's why welcome to my PUP and Guide series, The Enrollment Process Part 1. Coming up. Despite the pandemic crisis, I know everyone is still excited to be part of the PUP community and become a scholar ng bayan. For those who don't know me, my name is Sir Ian. I'm one of the faculties of PUP. And uh, if you're new with this channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and uh, the bell button for you to be updated with my uploads. And if you know someone that might need to hear or watch the video, please don't hesitate to share. Without further ado, I will give you the three basic things that you need to know about the enrollment process. The first one is the score qualifications for PubSet. Now, to make it clear, there is no standard scores for you to pass the PubSet. But there is the what we call as the cut of scores. Now, meaning to say, the university form a committee that will determine and qualify the PubSet scores. So, ibig sabihin, nakadepende sa sinet na scores ang magiging basihan kung ilan ang magiging qualified na maging passers. Second is the qualified waitlisted for ITEC and no results na display. So, dahil nga meron tayong tinatawag na cut of scores, meron din tayong tinatawag na qualified scores for you to take bachelor's degree, for you to be on the waitlist, and for you to take the ITEC or the Institute of Technology. At magkakaroon lang ng adjustment once na yung mga qualified ay hindi nag-confirm or hindi tumuloy sa enrollment ng PUP. Alright, in PubSet results, we can only see four types. The first one is the qualified. Na ibig sabihin, pasok ka. You have an available slot for you to take a bachelor's degree program. And if you really want to continue with your enrollment sa PUP, is you need to confirm for you to know your enrollment schedule. The second one is the waitlisted. Ibig sabihin, pwede ka pa rin tanggapin ng PUP if ever na hindi lahat ng qualified passers ay mag-confirm na kanilang enrollment. So let's say, uh, hindi lahat ng qualified ay nag-confirm or tumuloy ng enrollment sa PUP, ibig sabihin, kukuha sila mula sa waitlist din para sila ang mag-enroll sa mga slots na available pa for bachelor's degree. The third type is the for ITEC. Ibig sabihin, uh, pasok yung score mo for you to take the, the ITEC uh, Institute of Technology ng PUP. It's a tech book uh, diploma program na kung saan you will take it for 3 years. And if you wanted to continue uh, yung, yung tech book uh, ITEC diploma mo into a bachelor's degree, you can do that through yung tinatawag natin na ladderization or ilaladderize mo from ITEC to bachelor's degree. Then, the fourth one is no results to display. Ibig sabihin, hindi ka pinalad. I'm so sorry to say, ito yung pinakamasakit. Uh, hindi ka pinalad na matanggap sa PUP, pero hindi ibig sabihin nakatapusan na ng lahat. No, that's why it's also important that you take other entrance exam from other colleges or from other universities para meron kang backup. Alright, for the last one is the enrollment requirements. Now, for those qualified, for those waitlisted or ITEC passers, once you confirm your enrollment, your PUP, you should download the file because that file will give you the details, the, the, the requirements or the processes that you need to know. 
no? And because of this pandemic crisis possible, there will be some changes na magaganap sa enrollment for this year. So, abang na lang po tayo ng further updates. But normally, ang pinaka-main requirement na kailangan is of course, the Form 137 or Form 138, your uh, uh, PSA birth certificate, your certificate of good moral, and the senior high school diploma. And if you have more questions, please feel free to, to write down your questions on the comment sections below and I will answer those on our next video, the PUP Guide Series Enrollment Process Part 2. Thank you for watching!